Every pet owner wants to stay his or her beloved cat or dog as safe as possible. You are doing everything you'll do confirm your pet is well cared for and healthy. If you've got an inside pet, you'll not think that keeping identification tags is vital, but it is. What if your fuzzy feline accidentally slips out of the door in the dark and you search to no avail? What does one do, especially if your dog or cat has no identification? Placing a collar with an identification tag is vital, but collars sometimes become lost. When you consider the very fact that a lot of animal shelters only keep dogs and cats for seven days, you would like to form sure that your pet is correctly identified. That's where the microchip comes in handy. The microchip is that the newest thanks to identify lost pets and helps make sure that your lost pooch or feline finds his or her way back home. The technology of the microchip has become so popular that the majority animal clinics and animal shelters have the power to scan a cat or dog for microchip identification. If you decide for the microchip, you ought to know that it's an easy procedure for your pet. Your vet will insert a small microchip about the dimensions of a grain of rice directly under your pet's skin employing a needle. The microchip is typically placed behind the neck. The microchip contains special digital number that has been entered on a national microchip database. That information will give the person your contact information. When your pet is lost, a veterinarian or animal shelter can use a special scanner to retrieve the microchip information. It's that easy. Pet owners love the thought of the microchip because it's permanent. You can't remove the microchip and in contrast to a collar or tags, it can't be lost or destroyed. This is often one among the simplest features of pet microchip, especially for cats. If you place a collar on a cat, quite likely it'll be a breakaway collar. If your cat climbs a tree, or is caught on something, the collar breaks off. If your cat doesn't have a microchip, it'll be very difficult to spot your cat if it's found. There are a couple of important things to recollect about pet microchips. First, if your pet gets lost, you ought to never just sit back and await a call, albeit your pet features a microchip. Not all veterinarians and shelters are equipped with this technology. You need to require the time to call around and place, lost pet, flyers around your neighborhood. Additionally, you would like to form sure you're taking the time to update your contact information do you have to move. It does little to no good to possess your pet implanted with the microchip if the knowledge on the national database is wrong. Your veterinarian can offer you information on the way to update this information. It is important to urge your pet implanted with the microchip at a young age. Puppies can have the microchip at age 6 weeks. Even small breeds of dogs can handle this procedure. Kittens also can undergo this procedure at 6 weeks. The insertion of the microchip isn't painful and seems like a daily vaccination shot. You'll have your pet implanted with the microchip at your veterinarian office and may expect to pay between $30 and $50 for this service.